Hey, Weather Warriors, I wanted to give you a quick update on the big pattern change that's going to be occurring across the United States through late November. Now, we're going to talk about storm tracks, snowfall, precipitation, and temperature anomalies. Before we begin, click the subscribe button if you like daily forecast updates, extreme weather event breakdowns, much more detailed than you would see on TV. And comment below how cold has it gotten for your area so far this fall. So what we're going to do first is look at the 500 millibar height anomalies. This is going to measure kind of the expansion and contraction of temperatures in the atmosphere. Your reds are going to typically be warmer than average and your blue is going to be kind of colder than average. This is near and below the jet stream where we measure the storm track and temperatures essentially long range. So this is a great tool. Now if you remember for the first half of the month there was ridging in the west and troughing in the east. Very warm temperatures in the west 10 to 20 degrees above average and then about 10 to 30 degrees below average in the east. But I expect that to shake up. Now there's a lot of hype talking about extreme cold blasts going to the east. I just don't see it and I have I've been saying that for you know a few days now but definitely some cold blasts will move through just nothing crazy. And, you know, we're only talking a few degrees below average. We're, I'll get into that in a second. But the big area of change here is the West Coast. If you go towards the 20th here on Wednesday, not too far out from now, you see this ridging up here towards Alaska. It's a bit lopsided. Okay, usually if you, you, you get a nice ridge and it, it, it's a little bit farther east and you get it you know very far north and, and punching in to the Arctic, you're going to get a very nice cold blast out in the East Coast. This was a little bit more aggressive and pushing north. You'd get a very nice troughing in the east. But because of that, uh, not really occurring, and there's troughing in the west, and that's uh, really creating less cold activity for the east half of the United States. Still going to be cool, but nothing uh, like the first half of the month. A little bit of ridging in the central U.S. as we head towards the 20th. Now, the storm track... You're going to get storms near and ahead of these little short waves here, okay? So look for that. In the southwestern United States, it's going to get some serious relief. I've been saying this for a while. Lots of rain, lots of snow for the Rockies and southwestern United States, as well as parts of the northwestern United States, and a couple of storms going up the central U.S. as well, and that will track to the east. In terms of nor'easter potential, I'm not seeing anything crazy with this current pattern, but there will be some shots of uh, storms that move through the area. But, you know, your chances will definitely increase as we head towards winter. Now, the issue with uh, this trough is it's kind of lopsided and it's over top, or excuse me, the ridge is lopsided and it's over top this trough down here. So that's going to prevent cold air from being, you know, extraordinarily cold in the west, but it will be a few degrees below average. So definitely a change from 10 to 20 degrees above average. This is around the 21st. Now we're going to fast forward this. So storm system is going to move up <clears throat> into the central U.S., maybe another one for Canada up there. But we got more waves down here. This ridging is just breaking down. It's not overly impressive. Uh, but, you know, average to slightly below average temperatures, some areas in a slightly above average in the west. Meanwhile, the east will, uh, you know, be a little bit above average here, but it will cool down after the 22nd again. Just nothing like an Arctic outbreak. You know, I, I, those are, you know, this is just not the perfect pattern for an Arctic outbreak for the uh, central and eastern U.S. The ridging kind of... Uh, you know, really just breaking down the height anomalies here. This is, you know, you get more troughing now in the in the west. And uh, this will continue. This is around the 23rd. And uh, you can see a little bit more ridging moves into the east or uh, the central U.S. as we head towards the 24th. More troughing in the east, but there is some very warm uh, height anomalies just north of there. I don't think this is the deepest. You got a ridge right here. Not the deepest cold air, but for sure a chance of uh, some storms around the 24th, 25th, and uh, definitely a little bit cooler around then. But you got more troughing in the west. So another shot of storms and another shot of uh, cooler air there in the west. The trough, you know, the ridge here is kind of lopsided. You'd like to see that a little bit more uh, stout for a cold air outbreak for the west, but definitely a chance for storms and a little bit cool around the 25th, 26th. That moves into the southwestern United States and then ejects out into the plains. There'll be another shot of a uh, storm system from the southwestern United States towards the plains around the 26th or so. Ridging in the east brings another slight warm-up. Then we got more troughing in the west. So when you see the ridging all the way out here, or high, or higher height anomalies, and you get more troughing out here, 
that's an indicative of a uh, continuous pattern of uh, troughs that will continue to move into the west coast. This will keep squeezing air down, especially how far west it is. Now, this is getting pretty far out. This very well could change as we head towards early December. Um, you know, I'm not expecting this pattern to be the main show for the entire winter. Uh, but this is a temporary pattern change, like I said. And uh, this will, uh, you know, I think, you know, as you get towards winter, you're going to see more ridging in the east and troughing in the west. But nonetheless, another pattern change. So let's look at the uh, precipitation real quick. And uh, then we'll look at temperatures. We'll zoom into uh, north or, uh, the uh, U.S. here and uh, show you a couple shots at some storm systems that could scrape up the uh, west and northern parts of the U.S. and the central U.S., so as we head towards uh, the uh, 20th here, that first wave moves through, and you can see a low pressure system, another lee side low here. Look at all that rain down there. Finally, some relief for the southwestern United States. A little shot of uh, snow up for the northwest, northwestern United States and Montana. Finally, some more snow. Then that main low ejects out. It's uh, now lee side here, and really, for the most part, just plenty of precipitation. Still pretty, uh, not terribly cold. Like I said, this not the best setup for an Arctic outbreak. Definitely warming out ahead. Out of this low is going to drag up very warm, moist air out into the central U.S. So finally some warming on the central U.S. around the 20th. As we head towards the 21st, you can see that first low moves through. There's that first wave, then there's that second wave right behind it. Another low pressure system for the southwestern United States, California, Nevada, uh, Salt Lake, city you know you're talking utah colorado new mexico arizona gonna be much above average precipitation for the next week or so another low pressure system in the plains the cold front's not overly impressive and you got another system ejecting out which is going to bring south winds very rapidly back into this central u.s region but definitely some cold air for potentially some snow as you head towards the northern plains but this is not overly impressive looking uh you're going to get Another shot of warm air that moves up very quickly after this. So not a classic blizzard, but definitely some snow chances for the northern plains and uh, some rain shots. This is around the 21st. So very uh, different pattern than what we've been seeing. This moves off to the east. And then, uh, you know, the low pressure system kind of dies out. High pressure system moves in, but the cold air isn't as strong. Still cooler. You can see that 540 line, kind of the average temperature to being around freezing. Here's your low pressure system, nice cold front, and uh, you know you're gonna get. It's just kind of flat and a little bit dry. The upper level wave kind of dies as it moves to the east. There's a high pressure sitting out here, you know, and, and that could actually divert storms a little bit farther north this winter for the east coast. Definitely having to watch that. But because of the warm waters out here, we could, and when you do get a storm to track up the coast, it could be a big one for the east coast. We're definitely watching that, and we'll continue as we uh, head it towards into the winter here. Then as we head towards uh, Friday the 22nd, this uh, second wave kind of moves through. Just kind of a uh, flat look to it. Not impressive for any extreme major storms, but definitely a change with, uh, you know, more precipitation for the southwestern, central, and southern U.S. And that moves through around the 23rd and 24th into the east coast. So it gives them another shot of some uh, storm systems. And that wave towards the end of the month, towards the 23rd, was a little bit stronger. So you do see another shot of cold air with some flurries that are uh, getting extended behind it. So even though this storm doesn't look impressive right now, we definitely have to watch that for the northeastern U.S. If this decides to wrap just a little bit more, if the upper levels improve, you could have a better storm system for the far northeastern United States. But just does not look like the case right now. We'll have to watch that. Another storm system in the southeastern United States. Southeastern United States is another area that's getting relief with some rain. And as we head towards uh, late month, you can see uh, some waves move into the, uh, the northwestern United States finally with uh, some snowfall in the northwestern United States as we head towards the 25th or so. And then another wave as uh, we continue to see these southwestern U.S. troughs. Another wave coming through with uh, snow and rain for the southwestern United States. This moves through, brings warmer conditions out ahead of it. You know, right out, out ahead of these waves, you're going to get south winds typically and uh, that get drawn up from the Gulf as, you know, you get circulations around the lows. High pressure out here 
So eventually you're going to get some warm air that moves up back into the central U.S. towards uh, the 25th and beyond. And as we head towards uh, the uh, 27th and, you know, getting close to Thanksgiving here, there's still a potential for a storm system around Thanksgiving. Or so I mentioned this a few days ago. Nice little front there. And, uh, you know, really not a whole lot of cold air with this thing. But we'll have to definitely watch this as uh, this moves towards Thanksgiving. But you can see the 540 line. This is kind of your freezing line for your snowfall all the way up north. There's a little bit of dynamic cold air with these systems. With these systems towards fall, you have to definitely watch that. If you get a low pressure system, if this goes down a little bit lower, sometimes these lows can generate their own cold air on the backside in the deformation band. That's something we'll have to watch. You could get a west, wet burst of snow in the plains. But right now, just looking like rain and thunderstorms, this is getting pretty far out there. So that's the farthest we're going to take it for now. And uh, we'll see. We'll look at the last run, see if that had that. Just kind of curious. Because this did uh, this did look pretty impressive a few days ago. And, yeah, this is uh, around Thanksgiving. This is the previous run. And you can actually see, look at that, snowstorm. So the upper levels were probably a lot more impressive on that run. This is definitely something I'm still watching. It's very far out. But low pressure system right here. Got a cold front out there. Probably some severe thunderstorms maybe in Louisiana still. Uh, look at that. Tons of rain. And you got snow on the back side. So if this system can get any stronger, it could you know, dial up its own cold air. This, in this case, there's actually some decent cold air with this uh, particular look. So definitely looking at Thanksgiving, make some updates on that. But look at that big snowstorm that goes up the northern U.S. around Thanksgiving. Probably some severe storms out ahead of it. So very, uh, very interesting pattern. Like I said, this pattern does support a very sharp increase in activity for kind of this region right here, southwestern United States, central U.S., potentially as far east as the Midwest. So we'll be definitely be making videos if there is more consistent. See with that, a little bit too far out uh, right now for that. So temperature anomalies. So we head towards the 20th. You can see finally cooler than average temperatures in the west. Warmer in the central U.S., 10 to 20 degrees above average. Meanwhile, the west is around average to slightly below with uh, finally, you know, it's a much different story. And then as that moves to the east on the 21st, you can see above average temperatures move to the east. And then finally behind that, first wave you get it you do get a cool down around the 23rd nothing extreme warms up a little bit in the west but then that second wave that moves through as we head towards the 26th and 27th will bring colder the air than average to the west but like i said none of these waves look like extreme arctic outbreaks at the moment this is actually pretty impressive right here uh, but we're looking at the zero z here so we'll go back to the 12 z that was uh that uh, wave it looked a lot more impressive on the 0Z. But if you go back to the 12Z, not as strong as you had towards the 26, but still a very cool shot of air that moves to the east as well and will eventually impact the east coast. So in terms of temperature anomalies, definitely above or below average for the southwestern United States for a few periods in this uh, time period. It's going to be more above average for the central U.S. and then the east U.S., kind of a little bit of both. You're going to get multiple ways. You're going to get temperature swings, but nothing extreme in terms of uh, Arctic outbreaks. So I think that's uh, what we're going to look at for the most part here. We'll look at uh, instability here. See if uh, we'll go on that previous run, see if there's any severe weather with that Thanksgiving snowstorm. Because it did look like it could be the case on the... Uh, map there or on the previous map yeah a little bit of instability for the southern plains so definitely have to watch for that and then snowfall amounts just for fun here as we head towards thanksgiving and beyond it's only it goes about 240 out but you can see tens of tons of snowfall for the uh, rockies here southwestern united states some areas look at that, it's 56 inches you know obviously that's going to change a little bit but definitely some areas in the upper elevations receiving one to two feet of snow. So this is a much better pattern for the Rockies. Even the far northeastern United States, there's that chance, outside chance of a uh, snowstorm. If you can get enough cold air in, but like I said, you really, this pattern lacks a little bit of cold air for the east, but it will be something to watch here. Now, if you, you look at the next run, it still continues the snow for the central in eastern or western United States. So very uh, snowy for this region. Precipitation amounts. 
We'll look at that. I expect that to be above average for the southwestern United States. So this is just measuring the liquid. And you can see plenty of liquid out there, four to five inches in Arizona, parts of California receiving quarter inch to a half inch. And then also the northwestern United States seeing a lot of relief. And then the central plains as well. So this is definitely a uh, decent pattern change for that area. Just wanted to update you guys. Uh, we'll continue to make more videos like this in the future. So click that subscribe button. Hope you have a great day. Click that thumbs up button and we'll see you soon.